Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some of the best moments of the MCU films are when the actors totally go off script and improvise their lines, leading to some very unforgettable performances. Today, we'll take a look at 10 moments in the MCU where the actors went completely off script. From Tom Holland's saddest moment all the way back to Peggy Carter getting frisky with Captain America. It's all in there, so stick around to the end and enjoy. Before we get into it, do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button to help us grow our channel. Thanks! Okay, let's start with another Thor. In the first Thor film, our God of Thunder is pigging out and then tries coffee for the first time, which ends to him saying, this drink, I like it. And then he throws the cup down on the ground, breaking it, and drawing the entire diner's attention to the table. While this joke ended up shaping the scene and fleshing out Thor and the customs of Asgard, this was not actually a scripted moment. Chris Hemsworth thought of slamming the cup on the ground on the day of the shoot. And it's a moment of improv that has several callbacks in the MCU, with Volstagg recreating the cup slam in Thor The Dark World and Loki recreating it in episode 3 of his own series. Another! Star-Lord dropping the orb, Guardians of the Galaxy. This one might be cheating because this was not an intentional moment, but it is another small but funny moment. In Guardians of the Galaxy, the team goes to nowhere to sell the orb to the Collector. Star-Lord holds the orb out to Tanlir Tyvan and then drops it, but quickly picks it up and holds it back out. Chris Pratt wasn't supposed to drop it, but when he did, he stayed in character and played it off well. James Gunn liked it so much that he decided to keep it in the movie, and the joke works. Shawarma. Avengers. After Hulk saves Iron Man in the first Avengers film, Tony Stark wakes up and tells the rest of the Avengers that he found a shawarma joint a few blocks away from them, and that he really wanted to try it. Later, in a post credit scene, the Avengers are all gathered around a table eating shawarma. This scene seems like it would feel weird without the shawarma joke, right? But it was never actually written for the movie. Robert Downey Jr. improvised this line when they shot the scene. And the funniest part is that director Joss Whedon felt like the joke deserved a payoff and he wanted to film a scene of them eating shawarma. But since the movie was completed and everyone had moved on to their other projects, the only chance they would have to film the post credit scene is when the entire cast and crew was together for the premiere. So it was an extremely late addition. Also a fun fact, in the scene when Tony crash lands after destroying the Leviathan from the inside out, and the Chidauri start shooting at him, you can see the shawarma joint in the background. Haley Atwell touching Chris Evans' chest, Captain America. Everyone remembers the Super Soldier procedure from Captain America the First Avenger, when the tank opens to reveal a now buff Steve Rogers. Chris Evans is in A plus shape, shirtless, and all oiled up to make him look like even more of a new and improved beast than he already was. Once everyone leaves the booth, Peggy Carter goes up to Steve and asks him how he feels, to which he replies, I'm taller. Before responding with, you look taller and giving him a shirt, Peggy reaches out and touches Chris Evans' chest. That was never supposed to happen. Hayley Atwell couldn't help herself when they filmed the scene, and she tapped Evan's chest before carrying on with the scene. It's not the deepest or most interesting moment of improv, but it's a fan favorite and is certainly a funny moment. He's a friend from work, Thor Ragnarok. Hey! Hey! We know each other! He's a friend from work! This one might also be cheating because Chris Hemsworth didn't actually think of this line, but it is a heartwarming story, and because it wasn't in the script, it may as well be on this list. Once upon a time, there was a Make-A-Wish kid who wanted to visit the set of Thor Ragnarok. His wish was granted, and he was brought onto set one day to see the filming of the movie. The particular day he visited just so happened to be one of the days that they were filming the Thor and Hulk gladiatorial match. When Hulk forces his way through the door and roars, Thor gets excited and then the conversation between the two Avengers ensues. The Make-A-Wish kid thought it would be funny if Thor made a remark about knowing Hulk and suggested that Chris Hemsworth say he's a friend from work. The cast and crew liked it so much that they decided to include it and Chris Hemsworth knocked the line out of the park, earning that child the right to say that he actually wrote a line for a Marvel movie. Hawkeye's joke about shooting Quicksilver, Age of Ultron. We all remember this iconic moment in Avengers Age of Ultron, including Wanda Maximoff, Hawkeye, and Quicksilver. But here's where it gets funny. As Hawkeye aims his bow in the direction Pierdo ran off and says, Nobody would know. Nobody. And he makes a few more remarks as he jogs back towards the church, all of which were improvised by Jeremy Renner, and they were some of the funniest in the movie. The last I saw him, an Ultron was sitting on him. I'm, yeah, I'll be missed. That quick little bastard. I miss him already. Thor's snake story, Ragnarok. Here we are visiting Thor Ragnarok once again to show what is perhaps the best moment of improv in the movie, and probably the funniest. 
This is the scene where Thor is speaking of a time in his childhood when Loki transformed into a snake, and back into Loki, and then later stabbed Thor. As Thor tells this hilarious story, Bruce Banner looks quite disturbed and Loki just smiles. Could it be because Chris Hemsworth improvised the entire story on the spot? You bet. And thankfully Mark Ruffalo, Tessa Thompson, or Tom Hiddleston never broke character and the scene stuck. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. This is a line that is so important to both the character of Iron Man and the entire MCU that it is still hard to believe that it was improvised. But it was. In the final scene of Iron Man, Tony Stark ignores the alibi Phil Coulson provided for him and he announces in front of the world his little secret. I am Iron Man. This is a defining moment for Tony Stark's character going forward, and it is even brought back in Avengers Endgame, just before he snaps his fingers to defeat Thanos and his army. Jon Favreau told Robert Downey Jr. to say something that fits once they start filming. Robert Downey Jr. had the idea of just saying that he was Iron Man. Jon Favreau and Kevin Feige loved it and the line was put into the final cut of the film. Spider-Man Death, Infinity War. The Russo brothers tried their hardest to keep as much of Avengers Infinity War a secret as they could. That included keeping information from the actors until the very last second. One of the plot points that they kept from a majority of the cast was the snap. Several of the actors whose characters died in the snap were not informed until just minutes before they filmed. Elizabeth Olsen has said that the writers and directors took her and a few other actors into a van and told them that the next scene they would have to shoot is a death scene. They had minimal direction and from there the actors got to fill in the gaps to craft their characters' deaths. The final character who gets dusted in the movie is Peter Parker. His spidey sense kicks in, so he's aware of the snap much sooner than everyone else and his senses try to fight it off, which makes his death much more painful and heartbreaking to watch. He collapses into Tony Stark's arms crying, I don't want to go, and then falls to the ground and apologizes to Tony before he turns into dust. Spider-Man's death is the most sad within the film and Tom Holland improvised all the lines in the scene. Improvising your own death scene is a rarity in film and Holland nailed it. So much that fans were left heartbroken until a year later when Spider-Man would come through a portal in the third act of Avengers Endgame, giving fans exactly what they wanted. More Spider-Man. Did you know any of these were improvised? Tell us below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.